insists on, you know, um, aspiring to be a president in the PF amidst all this rejection? It's my party. We built this party from the ground. We were there in the doldrums. We were there in the trenches fighting them. When MMD was strong and powerful, some of these people who are trying to talk now were in the MMD fighting us. What right do they have today to come and start calling some of our members John Sorio? Hmm. Let's not insult our members. We must respect our members. And some of these youths, they are the same people who are being abused, being insulted, being misused, and then they turn around and start insulting people like me. Were they there when the same president was calling me in the night to go and help him at Lewanika? They were sleeping. I was one of the first few people to be told the president Sata has died in England. Were they there? No. Were they there when we started strategizing as to what to do to make his candidature valid? No. Were they there when we were at Mika Lodge somewhere in Chamba Valley with central committee members? Which central committee I was chairing? Were they there? No. When I was going home for 16 days at 0203 in the morning, were they there? No. I have worked for this party. Were they there at Mulungushi when Sylvia Masewu walked in and wanted to make us get duped so that we leave the conference? Were they there when I told Tutu Angulube and other people what to do and advised this is the way we're going to go? Were they there when I was advising William Sander what to do and the ambassador John Peary? Were they there when we said this is not the way to go but we should do this? Do they know what it is to think? Thinking is painful, Bamwa. Strategizing is painful. I don't want to start reviewing things here which they shouldn't know about. All they know is we're in power today. How we got there, they don't know. This party has a history. I am part of that history. I am not a quitter. I will not leave you in the battlefront. No, I lead. When things got rough, I got into the conference. And I started telling people what to do, and I started directing things. I'm not saying I was the only one, but we were there together in the trenches. The president knows this. When they left Kabwe to come to Lusaka after his candidature was given to him, I was in Kabwe trying to sleep. It was Keiza Zulu who phoned, you need to come here. I had to drive in the night from Kabwe to come here to start preparing injunctions in the night. Were they there, those youths? No, they were sleeping. Do you even understand what we're doing? No. So people cannot come to me with cheap propaganda and start telling me, no, but you must leave the patriotic front. I have worked for this party.